hey guys welcome back to another excel video as today we are learning five of the advanced vlookup techniques you must know let's get started all right one of the many situations where vlookup really shines is where we have the data divided in different brackets or boundaries as we can see here so what we have is percentage marks divided in different brackets and we are required to fetch a relevant grade based on the percentage mark scored by the student. So the first bracket is about less than 50%. That means if student is scoring marks from 0 to 49%, F grade will be awarded. Similarly, if student is scoring 50 to 54%, grade D will be awarded and so on. Now, in order to further simplify this table or data down, we can introduce the concept of limits. Although you might be observing that I have reduced the ranges to a particular number, concept remains the same. So let's understand first bracket. Again, it was about 0 to 49 marks getting grade F. But if you look at the limits column, the first cell has just zero mentioned. In order to completely understand how limits work, we have to take two cells together to completely understand the idea. Now, 50 is the starting point of the next limit, same way 55 is the starting point of the third limit, and so on. So if I'm talking about the first bracket or first limit, the range is, or if I have to put it in words, I'm going to say it like this, that if student has secured equal to zero, but less than 50, and this is exactly what is mentioned here, and by less than 50, I mean 0 to 49. And if that is the score, grade F will be awarded. Same way, if student has scored equal to or more than 50, but less than 55, that is 50 to 54%, just like mentioned here, grade D will be awarded. And the same concept applies for the entire column of the limit. All right, now that we have understood how limits work, let's understand the different options in terms of functions we have within Excel. You might have observed while I was discussing this data, I was full of ifs, buts, and conditions. And this is exactly for which if function was developed in the first place. Now, if we go the if function route, we will have to accommodate all of these brackets, which are basically the conditions within Excel. That means each bracket is a condition or if statement in itself. And you can see that these are in total nine conditions. So if we use if function to solve this problem, we will have at least nine if statements mashed together or technically called nested together to get us the right result. I have already written it for you to save some time and this is how it looks. For each bracket, we have if statement and you can count and see how this is working now from learning point of view I will definitely recommend that you pause this video and go through this function and understand how this is working but in real life situation if you have this long of a string of a function there is a great potential of making errors and we can easily avoid this situation and solve the problem by a simple VLOOKUP function. So let's understand, say we have 61 percentage marks of this student and we need to find the right grade. So starting out with equal sign, VLOOKUP. And the first thing is the lookup value, which is these marks for which I want to fetch the grade value, comma, table array. That is the data from where I want Excel to seek the information comma, from which column the grade value should be fetched. In my selected data, it is the second column. And now pay attention. Instead of selecting the exact match, which is usually what we do while using VLOOKUP, we are going with approximate match. So having true selected, press tab, and then close parenthesis, press enter, and there you have the right grade selected. Now, for some of the viewers, it might be easy to understand how this 61 is getting C grade by looking at this column. However, this 60 within limit column might still be a confusion that how Excel is understanding and fetching 
this grade. So let me explain how VLOOKUP approximate match works a little more. So once again, starting from the first point, I asked Excel to look for this value that is 61 within this column. Now we can easily see that 61 is not exactly present within this column. So it will go for the approximate match or the closest figures within this column and it will settle down with these two values where one of the figure is smaller which is 60 and the second figure which is 65 is a little bigger that are the closest match to 61. Now Excel has to choose one of these two results to fetch the value and it will go with the minimum value which in our case is 60 once that is decided it will get the grade in front of this value for us which is 60 and this is exactly what we wanted Axel to do that is if student has scored marks equal to 60 and up to 64 percent that is less than 65 percent grade C will be awarded so I hope you have understood this example and how we look up approximate match works but still, if you have any question or confusion, you always have the comment section below this video. You can ask your questions and I will be happy to answer all of your confusions. So let's move on to the second technique for VLOOKUP. All right, the second situation is where we have the data and price given to us and we are required to get the price for the product name mentioned here. But if we look back at the data, it's all jumbled up. Like we have the date, name of the product, and category of the product mixed together in one text string. So what we need to do is to devise a formula that can separate this name within this data and then fetch the value from this column. And this is where VLOOKUP with wildcards is going to help us. So let's see how this is going to be done starting with equal sign we look up and the lookup value is this one which is in the cell g4 but i'm going to make a slight change to this lookup value press f2 once again and starting with the inward commas asterisk sign inward commas closed and percent and i'm going to attach and percent at the end as well. Now the reason I'm doing this, I'm telling Excel to find this value within these text strings and expect something to be written before this value and after this value, just like we can see here, we have the date before the name of the product and fruit or category name mentioned at the end of the product name. So once that is taken care of, comma, table array, the data from which I want Excel to fetch the value, comma, the price value from which column I want Excel to fetch the price value, that is two within the selected data, comma, and I want Excel to perform exact match, close parenthesis, press enter, and there you have it. Excel has fetched the price value of five from within this data, easily. Moving on to the third situation where we have products listed in the first column and each product has three different sizes. Now we are required to fetch the appropriate price value not only based on the name of the product but also the size of the product. So basically until now we were dealing with just one variable that is one lookup value but here we have to go for two lookup values to get the right price for our requirement. And that's where we are going to use 2D lookup formulas or two dimensional lookup formulas. So let's see how this is going to be done. So starting off with the equal sign, we look up and the lookup value is this product, comma, I want to find this value within this data, having this selected, comma once again. Now column index number depends on the size mentioned here. If it is small, then I want Excel to use second column. If it is medium, the third column will be used. And if it is large mentioned here, then the fourth column will be used. And as this value is variable, we need to use another lookup function. 
and that's why I'm going to use match function. Now match function is a lot similar to VLOOKUP function, so it will not be difficult at all to understand. It is also starting with lookup value, and the lookup value is this size mentioned here, comma, lookup array is this row. I want to find this value from within this data. Match type, just like we have in VLOOKUP. I want the exact match, press tab to insert zero, close parenthesis to conclude this function, comma once again, and we also want exact match for our VLOOKUP. Close parenthesis once again, press enter, and there you have. We had pent as a product, size is medium, and this is the price Excel has fetched for us. And even if I change the product from pen to tie, it is going to do the job for us really quickly and without any problem. And even if I change the size, that is also taken care of. So there you have it, two dimensional lookups. That is where you have two variables to look for to find the value from within the data. All right, now let's talk about the fourth technique in the series that is raising the bar even further because trust me, if 2D lookup has made you out, then wait until the end of this technique. So here we have two regions or markets named East and West. And just like in 2D lookup situation, we have products mentioned in the first column under each region and each product has three different sizes. Now, in this situation, we are required to fetch the price value, not only based on the name of the product or size, but also the region or market. So this time we have three variables to look for instead of two, and that's why we call it three-dimensional lookup or 3D lookup. So let's see how this is done. To start with, I need to name each of these ranges so that I can refer to them easily inside the functions. So here we have East, simply go to the name box, type East, press enter, and it is one of the simplest ways to name your ranges. Same applies for this range. I'm going to select the data, type West in the name box, press enter. And now if I have to refer to this range, I simply type East in the functions. And if I have to refer to West, I'm simply going to type west in my functions or formulas. All right, starting off with the equal sign, we look up and the first thing is the lookup value, which is choose the product name, comma, and then we have table array. Remember, table array is simply the data from where I want Excel to fetch the values. Now, this depends upon the market mentioned here. If it is east, I want Excel to use this data. And if it says west, I want Excel to use this data data range. So in order to automate this process, I'm going to use the formula indirect. Now what indirect function does is whatever I give it, it's going to process it as a cell address or the address of a range. Now remember, I named this data range as east and this one as west. So when I'm going to mention this address, that is that has the name of the market, it's going to give it east at the moment. And immediately, indirect is going to process it as data range named east. And that's how you are going to get this data range for this situation. So close parenthesis, moving on to the column index number. Once again, I'm going to use simple match. And lookup value is the size, lookup array is I can use any of these two. I can go with this one or this one. So once I have this selected, I want the exact match, zero inserted with tab, close parenthesis, comma, and exact match once again, close parenthesis, press enter, and there you have. So what we wanted is to fetch the price for the product named shoes with a size, small from the market east. So going to east market, small size, and shoes. This is the price for you. So there you have it. 
three variables to look for and still Excel manages to find the price for us. How cool is that? So that's why I say 2D lookups and 3D lookups are a must know techniques in your VLOOKUP arsenal of skills. Now let's move on to the last technique in the series and that is about fetching multiple values in one go. Let's say I have a product named Pent that is from within this data and I want prices for all of the sizes related to this product in one go. Now it might sound that I have to use three VLOOKUP separately which is one of those ways to solve this problem but you can do this with a single VLOOKUP if you know the technique. So starting off by selecting these three cells where I want the prices to be mentioned, equal sign, VLOOKUP, and just like in every case, lookup value is the name of the product. Comma, table array is this table. Having this selected, now, remember I want prices for all three sizes, that is small, medium, and large. Now small size is in second column, medium size price is in third column, and large size price is in fourth column. So I'm going to mention all these three columns within braces. Two, comma, three, comma, four, close braces, comma, and now I want to perform exact match. Close parenthesis, and here is one important thing. Instead of pressing enter, I'm going to use a combination of control shift enter because this is an array formula and I'm fetching the array of values. So control shift enter, and there you have it. A single VLOOKUP function is used to fetch all the three values in one go. So there you have five of the advanced VLOOKUP techniques, which I think everyone should know to make their VLOOKUP skills even better. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the case, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell icon so that you receive the updates about my future videos. Until next video, I'm your host Hassan Fazal and happy excelling.